Hi there, and welcome to another Headliner video. Today we're going to have a look at the uh, merging Anubis interface and its collaboration with Sonarworks Sound ID reference. So this now allows you to load Sound ID profiles into the Anubis to apply room correction at almost zero latency. Uh, extremely useful um, piece of software. Uh, married up with an extremely good interface. As some of you might know, I've reviewed both these products in the past, so head over to the Headliner website if you want to find out more about them. In the meantime, let's look at how we do this. Let's dive right in. So I'm going to demonstrate how easy this is to do. Uh, as you can see at the moment, we're rolling and recording myself, um, but at some point I'll be playing something out of iTunes or whatever and just show you uh, what it sounds like when you turn and turn on the um, room correction. Obviously that's dedicated and specific to my room. You would create your own profiles using the Science Sound ID software of which there are innumerable videos on the internet showing you how to do this. And it's very simple. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So um, the, the slightly more complicated bit is to um, export these in Sound ID and then to, uh, to import them into the Anubis and activate them. So if we look at Sound ID, um, there we go, everything's enabled and disabled at the moment. Uh, I'm not going to use that, I don't want to use that, but I do want Sound ID back. Now I've got here, for example, Sennheiser uh, headphones. So that's one of the uh, profiles I want to use. And if you click on the little buttons here at the right, you'll see that there's a bunch of options here and you want the export option and that allows you to export to merging technologies and uh, your audio interface. You let, select your audio interface, you enter the serial number of it, uh, which in this case is, okay, and then hit export. And it's actually created a little hidden folder there that it uh, exports this to. Um, and it's part of Sonarworks' own directory, which is um, hidden in the library in your user, um, in your own user directory. Um, so whatever your name is under users, you'll find it. But I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So that one's done. Then we then want to put in the Sennheiser, uh, sorry, the Adam one for my speakers and the Anubis, um, which is also disabled at the moment. But we've got it here, so let's export that as well. I'm selecting it in the same interface. I'm adding the serial number of this as well. Okay, export to that directory. Okay, successfully done. Now I'm just going to show you that directory because it is under users and it's in the library here, which is hidden as a hidden folder. So if you press uh, shift command dot, it'll show you the library. You open that and under Sonarworks, you'll find a reference ID. If you go into that, the Sonarworks projects here. And there they are. They're the ones that we've created. And in our exported ones, I've got a number of ones I've exported. And the two that I'm going to add at the moment are the uh, flat response to, in other words, the room compensation. There's another one here which I did was just base. Um, so it just corrects the base but leaves the top end flat or open rather, I should say. And there's one here that emulates a laptop so you can hear what it's going to sound like if you want to play it through a laptop, which is dead useful just for checking mixes. They also do things like cars as well. So if you wanted to add a car profile, stick it on your headphone output. You could do that and have a fair idea of what it might sound like when you get it in a car. But for these purposes, I've just got the flat one and the Sennheiser, which corresponds to my HD600s here. Um, and okay, so that's that bit done. The next thing we want to do is go to the Anubis itself. Um, and the easiest way to do that is to go and select the merging icon, which will be in your settings directory, 
right click on the Anubis itself and then open the web app page. Okay, web app page. Uh, and then you go down to pull down the menu and at the bottom here it says upload sound ID profile. Okay, and it's looking for, there's the four that I just showed you in the directory. So we're looking to upload this one first of all. So let's open that. Okay, so it's successfully uploaded. And then we want to upload the flat one. There we go. So let's upload that. Let's open that. Okay. Right, next thing we want to do is actually go and look in the Anubis and activate these. So again, right click, launch the remote control this time. We want to select the outputs. I've only got, I've only, I only used two on this. So uh, B is my kind of master output. Um, the reason being that A goes to the XLRs, B goes to the balance jacks, which I use balance jacks in my system. So, um, okay, so just hit the mix. Down here we go to sound ID, open that up. The two we just imported now appear. And for the master output, I want to use my Adam speakers. So I select that one and the little icon appears in the mix. That's pretty much how it works. Then uh, I'll close that. Of course, you can select none if you want to take it off. Uh, so we'll just select that one. I could select headphones, but I don't want to because that's going to be my speaker output. OK, I then want to select the next output, which is in fact my headphone output, which is my alternative output. I'll select that. OK, go down to sound ID. Select the headphones my headphone profile, and there we go. So now when I switch back between the two, I've got a Sonoworks profile on the mix, and a second profile for my headphones on the mix alternate. So there we go, and that's how simple it is to do. Okay, um, now let's have a test and see uh, if everything works. Um, just so you know, obviously, when you listen to these, they may not sound um, particularly nice or, or pleasant or whatever the case may be. They may not be ideal for your speakers. Of course, this is a room correction specifically for my Adam A7s. Uh, and a second one that I've got uh, in here for my headphones. So, um, yeah, when you listen to that, bear that in mind. So uh, let's just start this bit of track I've got in the background. This little mix I ran off earlier in the test track. So I start that and you'll hear this come through. If I go to the settings, if I right click on this, bring me up the remote control of the Anubis so I don't have to film it directly. Uh, okay, as you can see, the little Sonoworks um, icon is there. Going to sound ID, there's my two profiles. One's currently on. If I hit none, it changes. And that clearly gives you an idea of the amount of latency involved, which is practically indetectable, really, isn't it? I mean, you hear the uh, slight glitch as it, um, as it loads this profile, but when we go to none, for example, it's hardly any timing difference at all. So it just shows you how low it is. And similarly with this, obviously it takes a little bit longer to load it, but uh, when you turn it off, almost imperceivable. Okay, so there we go. That's a little test there just to show you it in operation. I'll just put it back for my speakers, which is uh, how I like it. Uh, uh, we'll close that, close that. We'll stop that. Okay, and you can see it rolling here with just me talking. Um, so I hope you found that useful. Um, yeah, so please like, share, subscribe, all the usual things, and uh, we shall see you in the next one. Thank you very much.